In this video, I am going to show you how to use the average if function in Google Sheets. So this function is very useful. It's kind of like a combination of the average and if functions. What it lets you do is return an average of a range that meets certain criteria. So what you can do is you have a criterion that you apply to a range anything that passes that criterion will be used to calculate average. So if you're regularly calculating averages in spreadsheets and filtering the data to only include certain values manually, um, this can definitely speed up your pro productivity because it kind of combines multiple functions in one. So this is the basic syntax here. It's average if and then there's three arguments criteria range, criterion, and average range. Criteria range is the range to check the criterion against. The criterion is the condition or test to check the criteria range for. And then average range, this is optional and this is the range to average. If you don't supply it, the criteria range will be used. So basically what this means is that there's two spots for ranges in the argument. If I apply a criteria to this range and this is my average range, that means anything that passes my criteria check, the corresponding row in this range will be used to calculate averages. So you can either calculate the range with, or you calculate the average with the range that you applied the test to itself, or you can calculate the average to a corresponding row in a different range um, where the test range, the criteria range, in other words, pass that test. So just to show you what that actually looks like in the spreadsheet, what I'm going to do is I want to return the average revenue for all of the clothing items that I have in this table. So what this is, is I have these different products. I have product type, price, sales, revenue. I want to find the average revenue for clothing. So you can see there's multiple clothing entries. I can just use average if to do this in one formula. So first I'm going to put in my criteria range. And then what I'm going to do is put in my criterion, which is basically the condition or test that I will check the criteria range for. So I'm going to do clothing and since you're doing text you want to do it in quotations. So clothing and then for the ones that match clothing we're going to end up averaging the revenue column. I forgot to do average if at the beginning of this. So let me just do that. There we go. So I have my criteria range, the criterion, and then the range that I'm going to average. So that is basically the same as taking all of these clothing ones. So you can see there's four. So to get the average a different way, I could also do it like this. And you can see it equals the same thing because that's what this function is doing. But with the function, it's only one step instead of having to break it up into multiple steps. So you can use text as your criterion. You can also use a number. Um, so I'll show you that here. In this example, um, it's basically the same thing, but instead of having a department name, I have a department number. So what I want is I want to return the average of all of the revenue from products in department one. So it's gonna be the same exact formula essentially except uh, since I'm doing a number, I don't need quotation marks. So my criteria argument is just gonna be a one. And then the range that I'm going to average. So you can see it equals the exact same thing. So you can do numbers as your criterion. 
no quotation marks for numbers. If you're doing text, you do want it inside quotation marks. You can also use expressions. So greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to, greater than, or equal to, um, any of those. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return the average um, revenue for all products that have sales greater than zero, which in this example is all of them, but let's see. So first I'm gonna put in this range, and then if you're doing an expression, you do want quotation marks. So inside quotation marks, greater than zero, and then I will put in the range to average and that is how you use expressions is in quotation marks. So you can do text, numbers, and expressions. And that is the average if function. It's very useful. Try it out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.